Hey guys, well it is day one post-op for my Lafort 1 osteotomy. As you can see, I'm very swollen, but I'm actually not as swollen as I thought I would be. Um, I'll kind of let you get a close-up. Uh, because it was only my top jaw, that's really where most of my swelling is. And my lip is really swollen. And I'm kind of uh, scratched up a little bit in here, as you can see. My cheeks are kind of puffy, but I've kept my ice, ice packs on pretty consistently and I just take them off when I eat and when I get up and move around a little bit, but uh, I think that's really helped with the swelling as far as in here. Um, my nose is also pretty swollen, as you can see from this side, I kind of get the Whoville profile, but um, yeah, it's a lot better than I expected. And as you may be able to see, I kind of have little uh, scratches in here. And he didn't tell me before surgery, but he did put like, little sutures in here. And I think the stitches are on the back side, so you can actually see them from the front. But they're supposed to help your nose from flaring out and getting wider. And that's kind of made it push up more, but... Um, in the long run, it's going to look really good. Hopefully. Uh, first day of surgery went really, really well. I was really nervous in the morning. I had to get there at 6 o'clock. And uh, they worked me up and everything. everything. Everything went pretty fast. Surgery didn't start until 7.30. But um, they took me a little, to a little room and... You know, let's get my IV started, and really that was probably the most painful part of the whole process, was just the IV. And, um, after that they gave me something that was supposed to help calm my nerves, and that's when I really started to feel more comfortable, because before that I was kind of getting nervous and freaking out, and like, wow, this is really happening. But, um, then the anesthesiologist came in and talked to me, and he was really nice, and helped me feel a lot calmer about everything and they took me off into a waiting room and I was there for a little while and um, then they took me to the surgery room and I basically remember them putting on the gas mask and after that it was I don't remember anything until they wheeled me to uh, my hospital room and I really didn't feel much pain at all um, it's more of like an uncomfortable feeling because you're so swollen but the morphine and everything took care of all the pain um, they had me on an antibiotic as well and this is all you know going through my IV and um, one thing going into surgery we weren't sure of was if I was going to be wired shut or not he said it would depend on my how strong my bone was and luckily I didn't have to get wired shut so as you can see, I have rubber bands around here. I'm not sure how many I have, but I can actually open my mouth quite a bit. And uh, that's been so helpful because I can talk and I can get a syringe. What I've been using is this syringe right here. And we did attach a, I guess, kind of tubing to the end. I kind of think, I don't really know what kind of tubing this is, but they gave it to me at the hospital. So we just attach it to the end and at first I thought well this is going to be necessary but really it isn't. I've stopped using it unless it's like a medication because it does help a little bit uh, if it's really liquidy. But as far as thicker stuff I just I put this in between that gap and you know I can fill this up all the way with I've had mashed potatoes on the first day like I was not expecting to be able to do that much. But this has been a lifesaver. I really, really like it. Uh, I have total, well, I mean, my, my lower jaw wasn't basically touched during surgery, so I can, it doesn't hurt me to move it. Um, I've been able to eat, I think the first day I had, I tried to write it down, I had applesauce and pudding and um, jello, yogurt grape juice, everything like that. Um, the first thing they gave me under surgery was Sprite and I wouldn't really recommend you start out with that because it's got a lot of bubbles in it and for me I get really nauseous really easily and it it just I guess the 
the air in it kind of got trapped and I just started feeling kind of nauseous. But I never threw up or anything, which was really good. I was really worried about that. Um, but try to stick with water and really, um, maybe not so much acidic stuff there at the very beginning. Uh, the next day, well, this morning, day one, uh, I was still in the hospital. I spent the night in the hospital. And I had oatmeal in the morning. We just tried to water it down as much as we could to get it up in the syringe. But that was no problem. And they left, let me leave the hospital around 8 o'clock in the morning. So I was just there for like 24 hours, which was nice. Um, while I was there, they gave me this Juven. I'm put that up here. Uh, I didn't know about this, but the nurse recommended it for me. Um, it's from the makers of Insure. I'm not sure if you can get this at any kind of store, so you may want to ask for it while you're at the hospital. But it's basically just these packs that you put in just any kind of liquid. She recommended Sprite, so that's what I've been doing. I kind of think she said take it four times, like take one of these packs four times a day. And it's supposed to help with uh, tissue building, which basically is exactly what I'm doing with this surgery. Because when they do the Lafort 1 osteotomy, they're pulling forward your top jaw and stretching that soft tissue and then just holding it in place with the uh, plates and screws. Oh yeah, and the plates and screws. Um, I have four plates and each one I think has like six screws in it, something like that, and uh, one of my screws he could not put in because my bone was so thin, um, he says it was eggshell thin, which is kind of scary, but um, apparently it's fine to not have that screw in there, and that was all good, but um, yeah, that's pretty much the day of surgery, and today has been pretty good. I expected the swelling to kind of peak today from what I'd heard from other people, but um, it hasn't been that bad. Uh, people actually told me that my swelling has gone down in my mouth. I feel like I have like a major bird lip, but uh, it's been pretty good. Chapstick uh, is necessary. I've been using this here, yeah, Nivea, and it has worked miracles. And since I've been home, I've actually used Vaseline. I like Vaseline a lot. I think it helps with moisturizing better than anything ever. But um, I'm going to go ahead and make another video that kind of describes what I've been going through today and just some products that I've used to help me get along the way. So I'll be posting one soon. Thanks. Bye.